Yesterday we talked about capacity, and today we're going to talk about capacity again. So I want you guys to think about this. Um, and you might even go to your kitchen and get these things because it would really help out. So perhaps go in your kitchen and pull out a couple of cups, just random cups that you drink out of, okay? So if you look at those, um, perhaps you have some big cups, perhaps you have large cups, but you just drink out of them. You really don't think about how much they hold. You just think, okay, this one holds this much and this one doesn't hold as much. Perhaps if you're just having orange juice, you just want a little cup, so you'll use a small one. But if you have, are thirsty and you want a glass of water, you want a big cup. Well, let's say you're going to make a cake and your recipe, you're reading it, and it says that you need one cup of flour. Well, let's say that you pull out that huge cup that you just used to drink water out of, and you filled that all the way with flour and you dumped it in your cake. Well, the problem with that is, is that's a not a standard size of a cup. It's just a regular drinking cup. It's not a measuring cup. So what I'd like you to do is ask your mom if she can show you a measuring cup. And a measuring cup is a standard unit of measure. That means no matter where you go, if you find a measuring cup, one cup is the same wherever you go. It's a standard size, just like an inch is. Um, when we were talking about measuring height, and we were saying, you know, you wouldn't go to the doctor's office and get measured in pencils or mittens like we did in classroom. You get measured in inches. Well, when you're making a recipe, you use a standard form of capacity measurement, which is a cup, okay? So let's go ahead and do our math work. What I need you to do is I need you to get out pages 341 and 342, okay? And get your pencil. Pull out those papers and go ahead and write your name at the top. And let's start. So it says, which one of these holds about a cup? Hopefully you've gotten a measuring cup so you know exactly what it looks like and you can tell, all right? But I want you to imagine um, that it, it is about the size of, hmm, I'm trying to think of something good. I can't think of anything good right now. That's why it's really important that you ask your mom to get you a measuring cup or your dad, perhaps, or your grandma or whomever you're working with. See if they can show you a measuring cup so you know exactly how big a measuring cup is. All right. So for now, you're just going to have to imagine here. Number one is pretty easy, though. Do you think a cup is about the size of this laundry basket or about the size of this jar of jam? Well, clearly it's not going to be a laundry basket full. That would be way more than a cup. So let's circle the jam. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody would use a cup that is the size of a laundry basket. All right. So over here we have an eyedropper and we have a teacup. Well, obviously the teacup is about the size of one cup. So let's circle that. How about over here for number three, the nail polish or the yogurt? Well, the yogurt's about the size of one cup. And for number four, we have this little sample size of ketchup, let's say, and then we have a locker. Well, obviously the little restaurant carry out thing is about the size of one cup, not a locker, okay? So flip your page over, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. You should be on the back of your paper, which is page 342. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these pictures and they want us to number the items from one to three. Number from least to most. So since we're looking at capacity still, we need to think about which one of these items is going to hold the least and which one will hold the most. So if you're looking at the pictures in number one, you have a semi, a pickup truck, and a wagon. Well, let's say I wanna bring home a whole garden full of watermelons. Will my wagon do it? No, it's going to hold just maybe one. So that's gonna hold the least. My pickup truck is gonna hold quite a few watermelons. I could probably get 20 watermelons in there. But this semi, 
I could fill it up with probably a hundred watermelons or more. It holds the most. It has the largest capacity. Okay, so let's go to number two. All right, we have this cup of hot cocoa. We have a spoon and we have a pot. Which one holds the least? Well, obviously the spoon holds the least. The cup's gonna hold more than the spoon, but the teapot or the tea kettle is gonna hold the most. Finally, let's look down here. We have a little pond, a bathtub, and this little bucket. So which one holds the least? Well, this one holds the least. The bathtub's gonna hold just a bit more than that bucket, obviously. And then finally, the pond holds the most. It has the largest capacity. Okay, good job, guys. Go ahead and make sure you've completed your work. Give yourself a sticker. I included some stickers in your tote bag, so go ahead and give yourself a sticker. And also, if you want to, you might try a recipe at home using some measuring cups or some other utensils that hold standard forms of capacity.